A quick video on how to sketch a block isometrically. So over here I've got a little uh, paper box. I've highlighted the edges in red so that they are clearly visible on the camera. And what we want to do now is we want to draw a three-dimensional box like this on our paper. So, the first thing to do with any drawing is to decide what you want to draw and where you want to draw it. Now in this example I'm just going to um, pick the box in the orientation as it is over here. So I can do it like this or one can rotate it and draw it like that. So with the long side on the right hand side or the long side on the left hand side. It doesn't really matter, especially not for, the, for this example. So for this example I'm going to draw the long side on the left and the shorter side on the right. So what we need to do is we need to start with our isometric axes or planes and the way in which we do that is we start firstly with a horizontal line something like that. This one is just for construction so it's not important for you to to draw this line every time. That's the horizontal line, just a reference line. This is my vertical plane. And now, if I want to draw the isometric box in this way, I want to first draw this reference line, my ground line for the view from the right hand side. So what we do is we draw a line from this intersection point to the top right at an angle of 30 degrees. Remember these are construction lines so we will want to erase them later on. Okay, next I'm going to draw this reference line towards the top left. Something like that. The standard for isometric drawing is set up such that that angle must be 30 degrees on both sides. Okay, please don't sketch in the 30 degrees every time. I'm just showing it now to make it easier for you to understand. Next what we're going to do is we are going to transfer this true length, the depth of this box, we're going to transfer to this view. So if I measure this, I'll see that that length is 3 centimeters in this one's case. So then I'll go three centimeters onto that axis, I'll make a mark this length of the box in this example's case is four centimeters okay and then we'll do the vertical lines Let's finish this right hand plane first. We set our horizontal line as a length of 3 centimeters. The height of this box is 2 centimeters. So now I can go up vertically, straight up, for a distance of 2 centimeters. Good. So now I'm going to sketch this rectangle. Let's call it rectangle ABCD. Rectangle ABCD. So my point A is now here at the origin. is point A. 
Point P is over there on the horizontal line. AB is a straight horizontal line. Point B lies over there. Point C lies above A, a straight line again. And point D lies above B, straight line again. So now I can complete that plane. by sketching in that line. So if we turn this thing isometrically you can see that this plane although it's flat has now twisted upwards a bit due to us rotating this thing to the isometric angle. Okay, next we can finish this left hand plane. On the right hand side we had point A and point C. Over here we'll have E and F. So point E will lie over there. And directly above point E we've got point F. we have point F. So now we have A, B, C, D on the right hand side and A, C, E, F or A, C, F, E if we go counterclockwise on the left hand side. Next what we can do We can add this point at the back. Let's call that one point number G. So to get to point number G, it is a straight line from F to G parallel to AB. So what we can go do, we don't have to go and measure this point. We can simply construct a line parallel to AB. So point G must lie somewhere on that line. And the exact point I will find by constructing a line from D back to G. So DG is parallel to AE. And that's where point number G lies in my isometric box. So now I have a 3D view of this little box. Let's just see if we can get the isometric to line up. Good. Now all you need to do is to erase your construction lines. In MGC we will very seldomly make use of construction lines in the final drawing so you can always erase your construction lines. Good. We will erase this horizontal line as well. Remember at the start I told you that that one is just for reference, it is not really something we are going to use. And there we have it, an asymmetric box.